Welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters. Okay, let's deliver Reza's food to him, which is now most likely cold and also probably moldy too. Uh, which one is Reza? I don't actually remember what he looks like. Is it you? Apparently not. Ah, it's you. Oh yeah, and what does it say on the floor? Freedom of the press. If it means anything at all, means the freedom to criticize and oppose... Criticize and oppose, George Orwell. George Orwell. Nah, don't recognize the name. Must be some fictional character. <clears throat> Hi. Whoa. Oh, cool, look at that. I think I think that's on purpose and not like a visual error. It's like a projected um I guess holographic screen, I think. Weird. <laughs> it kind of like curls up like a page being turned or something. Anyway, hey dude, what's going on? The boyfriend, working hard to save the world one story at a time. Hey, you. What's up? Toppling governments and exposing corporate conspiracies? Well, all in a daze. How was... you know... Therapy? Therapeutic, I guess. You guess. I know he means well, but... not in the mood for more psychotherapy. I wish he'd leave the psychotherapy for later, but... I know he means well. Hmm. I don't mind talking about it. Dr. Roman is really good. I just... I don't know if it's helping. I don't remember anything. But it's getting easier. Easier? Sure. And sooner or later, I will remember some things. Everything. So, working. On what now? A couple of things. The clampdown, mostly. There's tons of buzz about the Syndicate shutting down parts of the Metro. Uh, escalating identity checks, raiding news feeds. We're expecting the worst. You're loving it. I wouldn't say that, but... It's exciting. We can make a difference. I pray they try to raid a hand. Sully's already preparing the lawsuits. We'll sue them for emotional trauma, unlawful intrusion, damages to property, interference with the free press. We'll sue them for 300 million yuan. He's looking forward to it. I am looking forward to it. Bring it on. On your way to the shop? Ready to get rid of me already? I bring lunch. Sausage. Surprise? Possibly exotic? Sorry. I forgive you. You can stay as long as you don't talk to me. I need to finish this story. The clampdown? No. That new Bingo Dreamer soft drink. Apparently they fast-tracked EFSA approval and skipped a few steps. Hmm. Some customers have reported seeing the bingo dingo after drinking a can. <laughs> They'll probably get it pulled from vending machines. That's my boyfriend, getting fizzy drinks yanked from store shelves. I'm a modern day Gilgamesh, saving the world from hallucinogenic sugar water. <laughs> Thanks for lunch. I appreciate it. I guess I'm making dinner. You guessed correctly, ZML. Oh, I won't be home until later. I'm volunteering. Any special requests? Nothing heavy. Have the membranes been repaired? I queried the building net, but no reply. Prepare for the worst. I can't believe we don't live in a climate controlled apartment. As soon as I get a raise, we're moving. I don't want to leave Propast. No, I like the neighborhood. But a more modern building would be nice. No more sunny living at Sun and Shine Plaza by original consumer goods. Anyway, lunch. Here, I have to run. Have fun at the shop. Say hi to, uh, to Crazy Face? Mira. Come on, she's not... Well, yeah, she is. Mira is Crazy Face. There's no way around that. Crazy Face. Can't wait to meet her. Alright, so, uh, Zoe said she's volunteering? Uh, I am? For what? Now, I do remember that, um... What was her name? Nelly? The, the woman who sold me the sausages? She did invite me to the protest. But I don't think that's what Zoe meant. 
head to work at the pandemonium. Oh, right, she's doing volun- Yeah, okay, now it's coming back to me now. <laughs> I kind of forgot that she's working. Right. She does have a job. Did- Did my quest log thing just move? Oh, it bumps around Zoe. Neat. Look at that. Cool. Anyway. In the bricks. Pandemonium in the bricks. What is a pandemonium? Sounds like a... Bar? He said don't talk to him, but I kind of want to anyway. Hey, Reza. Rez? Just a sec. Hey, what's up? Oh my god, there's a lot of things we can talk about. And apparently he's not too uh, annoyed that I'm talking to him. How was lunch? What was- I didn't check with Reza if he was happy with my choice of lunch. This could have major consequences. <laughs> lunch is the most important meal. <laughs> this could have major consequences. I don't know if she's kind of breaking the fourth wall again, joking about why you'd ask some him, him about something so banal, as if it's really going to matter. And also, by the way, if you're finding that some of what Zoe says is a bit quiet compared to everything else, then you're not the only one, because these comments here... I know Reza's been spending... A I didn't check with Reza if he was ...are very quiet. Of lunch. What? Food okay? The food? Oh, food. Yeah, I haven't started eating yet, but, uh... Well, come on. This smells... different? What is it? Pork sausage. Real pork, not synthetic. That must have cost a fortune. Nella knows a supplier. In that case, I'm sure it's illegally produced and imported pork. Still smells good. Crime always does, Zoe. I'd be a bit careful around Nella. There is such a thing as being too radical. Oh, she's harmless. But sure, if she ever tries to push wood-smoked bacon on me, I'll sound the alarm. <laughs> I have a feeling you're not taking me seriously. I promise I'll eat your organic meat sausage. I won't enjoy it, but damn it, I'll eat it. Every last piece of minced organ stuffed into, uh, pork intestine. Good. You know, that's kind of funny. That it's the organic, like, it's the... The real stuff, the non-synthetic food, that apparently is, or often is, illegally imported. Whereas nowadays, like, the stuff you'd see banned would be more of the weird stuff. The synthetic stuff would be the stuff that's more likely to be banned than the real stuff, right? I mean, okay, there's some natural, I'm using air quotes here, or whatever, food that, um, that is, to some degree, restricted. You know, things like, um, unpasteurized milk and whatnot. But... I don't know. Now that I just said that, I'm, I'm sure actually not sure if that's true. Volunteering to we had such a lovely time in Trieste. Never mind the shitty hotel, the synthetic beaches, the awful food. It was just good with some time away. It's the first time since I moved here. The first time since we got back together. It was important. To us. To our relationship. You know what? I think the Trieste or whatever was mentioned in one of her diary entries. Because I remember her talking about sand, and she talks about synthetic beaches here. Hmm. You should probably read that entry. Do you miss Trieste yet? What? The five-star hotel? The sandy beaches and the gourmet buffet? You know you're in Italy when you're eating fake pasta made from processed American corn. I guess not. I'm just joking, babe. It wasn't about any of those things. It was nice being away with you. Not like we can afford anything fancier. And we don't need it. It was great. Really. I got to see the sun and you in a bikini. <laughs> and I got to see you in a black t-shirt and jeans, hiding out in the shade with a book. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. Next time, I promise we'll rent an island in the Philippines. You don't have to promise that. But since you did, I'll hold you to it forever. I know Rez has been spending a lot less time with Sully since I moved here. I hope I haven't gotten in the way of their best friendship. I'm not sure if I want to ask about everything right now. Um, no, let's just ask about the volunteering, then I'm going to be on my way and I'll ask him about the stuff later. I, I told you I'm volunteering tonight. You did not. And I'm not sure politics is something you should worry your pretty little head about, sweetheart. Jesus, don't do that voice again. Psycho doesn't suit you. <laughs> I guess there's a reason I'm scribbling and not a stand-up comedian. You'd guess right. Scribbling? I'll never get used to Europolis slang. Don't be a dully manette. 
You go on and hang with your sozy Intello clique tonight, I'll be a stay-at-home mine cooking your booth. Pretty good. Or should that be lecker, super bon? Also, don't do that again. Really creeps me out. To ma'am. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm gonna go now. I really should get going. I have things to do, places to... I should get going. I'm gonna be late for work. Mira will yell at me in Bombaya and I won't understand any of it. Hey, don't look at me. I'm not keeping you. I know. All me. Bye. Let's go have a chat with Sully, actually. Oh my god, you are really, really tall. That or I'm very short, and I don't think I am. Reza has a great friend and an amazing editor in Sully. And I wouldn't have lasted a month without his shoulder to cry on. Sully's the best. Hey, my favorite manic pixie dream girl. <laughs> Sully is the sweetest. I know he likes me, but he tries so hard to keep it light and friendly. I love him. Yeah, fuck you too. <laughs> you look awful, by the way. What happened? A wedding. Finally. Who's the lucky girl? You know I only have eyes for you. Dump that deadbeat boyfriend of yours and let's catch the first train to Copenhagen. Yeah, fuck Reza. I'm trying to slowly poison him with my home cooking. I'll give it a few months. How was the wedding? Awful. I feel like shit. It was a Polish wedding. A Polish wedding with an unlimited supply of Polish vodka. Oh, that does sound awful. I take it you haven't been to a Polish wedding. It was fantastic. It was a disaster. It was all things good and bad. And once the bride and groom stopped screaming at each other, it was incredibly romantic. I'm man enough to admit that I wept. Openly. I was Trieste. Really good. I mean, it's Trieste. It's not the Gold Coast. But it was nice to get out of the city. Did you know there's an actual sun up there? Yeah, urban myth. The sun is a lie. I don't believe it for a second. Besides, my skin would probably turn to ashes if it's exposed to UV rays. You're a child of Propas, Sully. Constantinople. But close enough. I don't expect an islander to understand European geography. Born in India, spent half my life in Africa, but hey, who's keeping track? Talk like an islander, live behind islander walls, deal with islander shame. That's what I say. Everyone's talking about the clampdowns today. If anyone knows what's going on, it's Sully. He prides himself on staying on top of the news cycle. What's going on with these eye clamp downs everyone's on about? Jesus wept those betten heads. It's insidious is what it is. A little bit here, a little bit there, and soon Propast is a bucking gulag. But why are they doing it? Who knows? It's the syndicate. They don't need something as banal as reasons. They want people off the streets and hooked up to their dream machines. You think that has something to do with it? Yes, no, maybe. Mouse your rules, and those dream machines are a license to print it. It would be naive to think they're completely unconnected. Watiko holds a lot of sway over the Syndicate. But we're going to find out for sure. Your boy toy there, once he's looked into the Phantom Bingo Dingo, will be taking point. This story is going to make a lot of people very angry. And that will make Sully very, very happy. Won't they just shut you down? Pah, let them try. We have the future on our side. And once I win my Pulitzer, I'll whisk you away to a better life. Copenhagen, right? That's just for the marriage license. We'll go to OverViewQ in Dacia and live like savages on the beach. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll get back to you once I've taken care of you-know-who. I heard that. Which part? All the parts. <laughs> nah, you'll still eat my food, even if it is poisoned. Food is food. I've distracted you two enough. When are you coming by for dinner, Sally? When is your man cooking dinner next? Cruel but fair. We'll have you over soon. Maybe we'll even find you a dinner date. Next to you, no woman measures up, but beggars, choosers... Take care, Zoe. Stop by any time. You know, I think I can make a really warm winter coat from his chest hair. I mean, damn! Oh, I went through him. Okay, let's get over to Mira in the bricks, yeah. 
pandemonium. I have no idea where that is. You know, I could ask the crow... cowboy? Crow boy? Whatever it's called. For directions, but I kind of want to just get lost in the city and just find it on my own. Uh, I'm trying to think if I've seen it before. I don't know. Maybe. Pandemonium. Yeah, <laughs> by the way, this game has really, really bad performance for me. Like, it it might look choppy to you, actually. Yeah. So I'm getting, I'm getting like, 15 FPS right here. As you can see, it's really choppy. It's smooth if I face the other way, because there's not much to render here. It's nice and smooth, but this way is... Ugh. It's fine, though. It's not a game that requires quick reflexes, so... Whatever. Go, oh boy! Nah, 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 I'm good. Boy, would you? I would like you to explain why there's invisible trash cans all over this place. Watch it. Let's get lost in city. Biotech, vat-grown organs, wormhole generators, nanobot paste, neural implants, biotic processors, digital irises, gene-modded goats. Yeah, I'm good. Whoa. Unless that's a weird bloom effect. Looks like the fringes of this of this woman's uh, headdress thing, whatever you call that, is like glow in the dark. Neat. What in the hell? Okay, that's creepy. Whatever it is, it's top quality stuff. Top quality yuckiness. <laughs> top quality or organs. They're top quality organs. What are these? Hearts? I think they're hearts. I'm not that good with anatomy, but I'm pretty sure they're hearts. Actually, no wait, they seem too big for hearts. Unless they're not human hearts. Well, what, what, what are these? You touch it, you bought it. And I'm not buying that. Yeah, that's actually a really fucking big heart. That's like two or three times bigger than a human heart. I think. There's nothing you can't get in the soup. Unless you're looking for cheap trinkets and fake antiques, then yeah, the bricks. The bricks. Is that where I am right now? Because if so, then I'm in the right area. So that's where the pandemonium is. There's another mystery machine. Nobody knows what they do. Unity Campaign Headquarters. Synagoga! It's the only temple in Propast. It's a lot bigger on the inside. Our campaign office. It's a hole in the wall, but Baruti has made it a very presentable hole in the wall. Let's see what these guards have to say. Move along. Nothing to see here. More and more checkpoints each day. Soon, we won't be able to go anywhere without proper papers. Hello, my friend. You're not in a rush, are you? Always in such a hurry. No, 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 I'm not in a rush. What's up? Chad, Shalom! What are you looking for? There's no finer selection or better prices anywhere in the Shook, so why go elsewhere? Are you in the market for a new iris? We have the best neurotech, straight off the Mumbai back tracks. We can do the surgery in the back room and you'll be on your feet again in an hour. <laughs> on the go surgery. Yeah, I wouldn't mind buying that sweet stash of yours. Other than that, though, I'm good. Next time. Is that a goat? So long. What are you looking for? More organs. What? What organs are those? Oh, it's alive. Of course it's alive. I mean, it's the souk. 
You touch it, you bought it. And I'm not buying that. Masa. I'm actually a bit worried about Frida. She's on the Dreamer all the time. Like, non-stop. Are these androidic goats? Don't get your gags all twisted. Idiot, I'm being serious. I'm shattered from being the only one taking care of the kids. So just buy them a dream machine. They'll think it's Mega Guy. Not helpful, cousin. Not helpful at all. I'm not about to expose them to dream time at their age. I don't trust what it called. They're not legal. You know what your problem is, Tsioma? You worry too much. Hmm? Learn from me. It's all super bomb. There's no conspiracy. That's all in the past. Maybe, but can I prove that it's not bomb? I see what it does to Frida. She's not Chango in the Coco. This thing's messing with her psyche. I I'm thirsty, Guts. I want out. Hey, wanna join us at the Rada later? He's smart. He's suspicious of the dream somewhere. machines. It's like Mega Guile. Stop for a moment. Shalom, farewell. Okay, pandemonium, pandemonium. The eye in the sky is watching. Weren't you heading out of district this week? Yeah, but the eye revoked my travel pass last minute. I'm stuck here, Bruder. That's actually happening. And uh, I thought it was just rumors. It's happening. And not just me. Half of our team is stuck. We're running circles trying to find out who to send to Berlin. Second Christ, what's going on? I'm thinking the elections. The Blues trying to stay in control for as long as possible. I don't see it. The Alliance may be weak, but they're not stupid. Wait, what the hell? I'm sure it's just that Kami's causing a racket. Wait, I thought these two dudes were talking. Oh, hey, that's sir. Anais is a Marxist. Seriously? Wait, what? Christ reborn, Bruder. I've been telling you, you need to cut your losses there. Hold on a second, I'm so confused. These two people were talking, right? But then, like, the conversation seemed to be originating from people that were walking by me. Like, if you heard the panning of the audio, it was going to the, to the right of me as the person was walking to the right of me, and then it faded in the distance as they walked away. Even the little chat bubble kind of popped up on the side of the screen, indicating it was coming from, like, the people walking by me. And now it's coming from these two again? Like, did, did the source of the audio just randomly go to some stranger passing by? What the hell just happened? Can we help you with anything? What no. do you want? No, I'm good. Just confused. <laughs> the pingo dingo. There's absolutely nothing I would want in there. Don't buy it. It's horrible. If you want to do graffiti, you might want to press the button down. Just a tip. Okay, got a bunch of places here. Pandemonium is probably somewhere around here. The White Swallow. Something Barn Club. Oh yeah, I saw this place from up there on the railings. I was looking down at this. Is this the bricks? Down with the sin dictate! They can't shut us down or Stand silence us. Stand up against our corporate overlords! We have a right to speak and a right to go wherever we want. Grant us liberty from corporate tyranny. Was this the protest that Nella was the going eye to? watches, but who watches the eye? I don't see Nella though. Stand up against our corporate overlords. No, don't see her. Grant us liberty Wait. from corporate tyranny. Wait, this sounds like her. Where are you? Stand up against our corporate overlords! I'm staying here until the eye leaves. Even if I watch it, who watches, who watches the eye? Huh. It sounds like Nella, but I don't think it actually is Nella. Demonstrator. The eye watches, but who watches the eye? Alright, anyway. Well, that looks like a strip club. Don't think I work there. Hey! 
Ooh, is that the place? I see a B. Or is that a D? Oh, House of Dreams, never mind. Okay, I might actually have to get directions. I'm curious though, can I go inside? A building filled with dream machines? Yeah, no. Oh, that's what this place is? House of Dreams, okay, that makes sense now. Madam Nix. She's famous. I've heard of her. Alright, let's get an idea of whether I'm even close to to the uh, the pandemonium. Matt! Get ready, partner! Where are you off to today? Mir do you know where Propast Auto Service is located? One second, doll. Well, okay, sure it's do, very far away. But that garage closed down years ago. I can direct you to- I want to go to there. Well, certainly. The building's still there, right smack in the bricks. According to the city net, it's abandoned. So watch out for squatters and undesirables. Don't be a stranger now, you hear? Alright, so it's pretty much straight down this way. Yeah, I think I go up here and then hook a right. Down in the dumps. Trouble staying focused. Looking for a pick me up at No, I'm good. I don't want your drugs. I don't know. Who is that? I'm not really into the Yeah, there it is. No. If I can just have no. a. But it will only take no. a. I think you'll be very interested. If you don't leave, I will activate my periphery defenses and channel 80,000 volts through your metal head, you murder toting homozard. Have a wonderful day, madam. <laughs> the ad bot wanted try, entrance. Try that thing out of my hands, that's Who the hell would let an ad bot into their home or place of business? God, what a miserable experience. <clears throat> I'm here for work. I told you to stay away, you piece of metal. It's me. It's me. Me who? I know lots of me's. Zoe. Zoe. Are you lucky I didn't turn on my periphery defenses? Or you'd be crispy toast by now. Come on in. So let's see how crazy Mira actually is. This shitty, shitting, shit, shit. Shit! Well, don't just stand there like a fucking half. Wait! Oh, I hate you <laughs> so much right now, you dumb mute lug. Yeah, you keep pretending like you can't hear me. That's not annoying at all. That does not make me want to strangle you with a wire. I did not just spend 57,000 yuan on scrap metal. We will make these things shine, and hover, and not blow up or attack small children. I can take or leave the children. Some people are attached to the filthy, shitting, squealing things, and we can't afford to upset the customers. Is this a bad time? It's the fucking worst time, Kutria. But I'm not paying you for the privilege of avoiding my shitty, shitting, shitty shit. You're going gin deep with the rest of us. I'm ready for... Wait, you're, you're paying me? When did you start paying me? Like I told you last week, blame the fucking banks for their incompetence and inability to process the transfers in time, not the messenger. Should I be writing this down? Do you kiss your boyfriend with that mouth of yours? Every day. So what am I doing? I can continue to run the orders God, that... God, Banchord! Who cares about new orders when we can't even deliver on our current orders? At this rate, We'll be out of business by Friday, and our creditors will tear this place to the ground and have us all gutted in the plaza. Today, you earn your bread and sliver of its 
by doing something that's actually useful. We're going to brainwash one of my refurbished bots. Neural programming, Petal. I'll be doing what I was actually hired to do. Yay. I didn't hire you to give me attitude, Bunjord. I get enough of that from wit already. That retard knows how to push my buttons. Yeah, you just keep turning the other cheek, Zard. You mother chord. I bet you've been faking your autism since we first met. Oh, you're such a fucking puppy dog, weird. Such a fucking gondor. And no wonder your armor left you in the dumpster after she squirted you out of her filthy chute. <laughs> oh so we God. have to get this refurbished bot ready for sale. And the Jodu is a bigger retard than Wit over there. No small feet. I did a low-level format and memory wipe, but this thing is not yet ready for prime time. That pedal is where you come in. Take Shitbot for a walk. Run through some test scenarios. See what it's good for. What about the neural programming? I'll be doing the programming battle. You just worry about testing this tin gun. Today, you're the tester. Hey, uh, can I get reassigned? Because you're kind of fucking nuts and really rude. Uh, Alright, see what we can do with shitbot. Are you my new human? What the? Get out. Nope. Why we're are you inside of me? Together today. I'm not sure I'm comfortable move. with that. I'm not comfortable with you I'm inside not sure me. That matters. Are you hygienic? You look a bit unhygienic. Seriously? God damn it, shitbot. Why are you so shitty? Alright. Hold on. Let's take a look around this place first. Well, I suppose I could try to talk to Wit, but I don't think he's going to reply. I know Mira took care of Wit when they were both children on the streets of Mumbai. She loves him, and I think he'd do pretty much anything for her. Hey, Wit. I don't know how you can stand it without punching her stupid face, but you guys have your thing, and I don't understand it, but it's obvious that she cares about you. Maybe that's her way of showing it. Being a total dick. Anyway, see you later, okay? It's not a good way of showing it. Mira's most treasured tool, an acoustic turn screw. I don't know how it works, but it's like a magic wand of modern science. Acoustic turn screw? What does acoustics have to do with turning stuff? I have no idea how to use an acoustic turn screw. I might just end up hurting someone or accidentally unlocking doors. <laughs> Blueprints of bots and what looks like neural interfaces. You know, Shitbot, your face looks like a cooling unit. My assignment for the day take, um, Shitbot for a walk. <laughs> I really need to give him a less offensive name. Ooh, I know. Feces bot. Like all the detail in the environment, there's really a lot of stuff bottles and crushed cans and everything just feels lived in, you know, stains on the ground and whatnot. If I try that, I believe Mira might actually stab me with a screwdriver in the face. Magic music machine. Whoa. What? Oh, I'm blocking the light. I just realized. I was like, what the hell's going on? Whoa, cool! I believe these are called jukeboxes. Ew, is that classic music? Ew. Mira yells at me if I touch it. I don't want to get yelled at, so I'm not touching it. I'm just kidding. Classic music is awesome. Although I don't listen to it because I don't really like it. I uh, appreciate it, but I don't enjoy listening to it for the most part. If I sit down, I won't get up again. And not because it's comfortable, but because it's really, really sticky. <laughs> okay, shitbot. Code. 
complex code for neural networks and brain machine interfaces. There's a reason Wits bots and, okay, mirrors are the best in the biz. New goal, test shitbots personality modules. Okay. Waiting makes my idle cycles stack. They feel like ants. I have ants in my full metal pants. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, shitbot, I love you. Come with me. Let's go for a walk. Do we have to be outside? I don't like the outside. That could be a problem. It's very big. That's, yeah, that's sort of the point of outside, the bigness. It's very loud and there could be assassins. Let's go back inside. What? No, you have, we have a job to do. I don't like this one bit, but all right. Where would you like me to begin? Let's start with human interaction. Let's see how you handle human interaction. We need to find someone to assist. Scanning for potential victim. <laughs> Victims, what? Victim. Did I say victim? I meant... Patsy. No, that's not right. Mark. Where did Mira find you? I've been told that my previous human was Mr. London. The gangster. Hmm. I remember nothing. They wipe my memory and parts of my personality with it. It's all starting to make sense. Is this your... your Patsy? This tourist? This human appears to be lost and in need of assistance. Go for it, bot. I have a name you know. Sorry, what is it? I have no idea. They wiped the tooth! So helpful. Kill me! Ah! Don't kill me! Frida, he's not going to... Well, probably. May I direct you somewhere? Uh, uh, I'm... I'm trying to find, uh, the metro station. Female human, please assist me in assisting this human with directions to the metro station. That's not how it works. Uh, pick a direction for shitbot. Um... Oh, where's the... I, I don't know where the metro station is. What, is it, what, do you think I live here or something? Uh... Uh... I, I literally don't know. I, I don't think it's that way, though. I'm pretty sure it's back. Follow me, human! You've got to be kidding me. I'm not <laughs> paying for this. <laughs> no one's asking for money. Where How are you am going? I to find the metro station now? Really? Do you have any idea what year this is? Bye! Are, are you coming back? Do I have to go f I have to go find him now, don't I? I guess I have to go find the metro station. She couldn't look more lost. She's the epitome of lostness. Right, well, he went this way. I'm not really into the whole Revere Couture thing. I dream my own dreams, or grab whatever's in the top ten user-created dreams on DreamNet. Why pay? DreamNet? I don't trust those third-party services. You jailbroke your dreamer? It's my dream machine, out there. I'm free to do whatever I want with it. Not sure what he caught would agree with that. You've only bought the license to use it. Let them try and pry that thing out of my hands, that's it. I paid Moza for the Dreamer. It's in my home, it's mine to do whatever I want. I'm with you, Sergei. I'm not going to risk frying my brain with unlicensed dreams. And besides, you can't get Roya's Dreamweaves on DreamNet. Only on the official Dream Store. Well, I've heard Roya makes dreams for DreamNet under an assumed name. That's Chungo, not legal at all, Babo. Why would he do that? He makes millions from the dream store. I don't buy it. I don't know. That's a manly voice. What I hear. All this talk about dreams makes you want to go home and log into Dreamtime. 
This is one thing we can agree on. Okay, well that just kind of blew my mind, uh, thinking about user-created dreams and what that would cause. Yeah, user-created dreams, you'd have a lot of those. You'd have sorted lists of the best of all sorts of different varieties. Uh, people would start charging for them, and you'd have pirated dreams. Also something you probably would have, just imagine all the... All of the, um, what's the right word, nefarious? Um, imagine all of the dangerous or just bad things people could do with user-created dreams. Like, imagine Screamer dreams. Right? Just like there, there's websites where you go to and it just plays a loud noise or something, something pops up in your face. But imagine the dream equivalent. Like, you think it's something good, but it's actually like a horrible nightmare where you're just getting, like, killed by monsters or something. God, that'd be terrible. Alright, where's the metro? Hey, my eyes are up here, lady. Huh? Let's go get directions. Oh. You can't. Well, you're useless. I hope you get to where you're going. And if you ever get... Well, shit. Where'd you go? Hmm. What's this way? Oh, what are, you, what are they doing with this guy? Looks like they're patting him down. Or, they were. Those muscles! God damn it, shitbot. Shitty, shitty, shit. I have no idea where the metro is. I'm pretty sure I've gone further away. There's no way he went over here, because he started from over here and he went in, like, that direction. I don't know. Let's see if he's wandered back home or something. Although I don't think he has. Nope. He has not. Alright, well, I want to I wanna end this episode before it gets too long, but... First, I want to read more diary entries, because I completely forgot about them. I need to get somewhere quiet. I don't know. I'm not really into the whole... Okay, here's good. Alright, the last one I read... Ooh, wait, there's a new one. There is. Uh, let's just start with the old ones. I'll read the new one at some point. Okay, so the last one I read was... This one. Yep, so she's getting ready to lead for Casablanca. Monday, April 17th. <laughs> April 17th. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, bye-bye Casablanca. Hello, Europolis. Europolis. That's so... European. I've barely been to Europe. I'm not a huge fan. Rampant poverty, crime, pollution, awful food. And yet, that's where I'm going. Europolis. Prague District. Propast. That was an easy choice, since that's where Rez is working. Yes, he's still with the hand that feeds, still an investigative journalist, still taking that whole saving the world thing seriously. I love him. I still don't know what I'll be doing once I get to Europolis, aside from playing house with Reza. When I woke up, I knew I didn't want to go back to school to continue my bioengineering degree. It was crystal clear to me that I'd had that whole argument in my head. Like I'd had that whole argument in my head while I was in the coma, and it was settled. That's fine. I'm not going to fight it. I'm just curious why my mind was set. 
It was odd. <laughs> Wait a minute. When I woke up, I knew I didn't want to go back to school to continue my bioengineering degree. It was crystal clear to me. Like, I had that argument in my head while I was in the coma, and it was settled. She's talking... I think she's talking about the, f the, the thing I decided right before I woke up. Remember, there was a decision between... Uh, basically continuing with what I was doing before, before I went into the coma. Like, continuing with my life where I left off. Or kind of starting anew. That's what she's talking about. She did have that argument in her in her head, and I was the one that decided the argument. I'm just curious why my mind was set. It was odd. Yeah, so she's remembering. Kind of. Not specifics, but she's kind of remembering. Alright, let's do one more. April 22nd, so about five days after the last one. Iris, capital letters, please. Huh? I hate Europolis. Thank you. Back to lowercase. Oh, Iris is the name of her dictation device or whatever. Anyway, five reasons I hate Europolis. There's no sun. None. It's always raining. Always. There's no vegetation, no trees, no plants, no grass. None. They claim to speak English, but it's littered with slang words like mouse and boule. I, I don't understand half of what they're saying. Did I mention there's no sun? Fuck this. But oh, it's fantastic and I love it. Zoe, contradictions, you're full of them. I'm starting a new chapter. Wink, chapter, chapter. I'm putting the past behind me. I'm growing up. I'm no longer defined by who I was or what I did or didn't do before the coma. That's why I love it. We've already found a place, super close to Reza's office, and we're moving in on Monday or Tuesday. Of course, we haven't actually seen the place outside of the simulation, but I'm sure it's perfect. It can be a hellhole, and it'll still be perfect. It doesn't matter how I feel about Europolis or about the apartment or about not having a job or being shit scared because I'm here now and... This is the beginning of a new story for me. Okay, so let's end there. Um, probably before the beginning of the next episode, I'm going to find freaking shitty shitbot and wherever the metro is. God damn it, shitbot. You know, he did... Uh, you know, he went up there. So I probably have to go up as well. Yeah, because I actually can get up there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I need to do. Okay, well, I will do that next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.